y'all and welcome to today's video. My order from Glam Light is here. I have the Frosted Flakes collection. This is so, so cute. I bought the full collection, everything. I bought it. My order is here. We are going to try it on. And if you are new here, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here at my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. Shimmer, glitter, testing new collections. We are here for it. So if that sounds good to you, I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because I upload lots of new videos every single week. I am very excited to play with this stuff, so let's jump into it. Okay, let's do a quick rundown of this collection. I was so excited when I saw that Glam Light was doing a Frosted Flakes collection. I thought it was so cute. This is my son's favorite cereal. We always have Frosted Flakes in the house. And I think it's just a perfect brand for Glam Light to collab with. Glam Light is like the original food and makeup brand. So I think this is so cute. And immediately when I saw it, I was like, okay, we've got to have blue, orange, black, white. If we have that, I'm happy and we do. I'm going to show you this full collection. Now I do have a discount code with Glamlight. My affiliate code is Heather Austin. You can use that to save. But even though I am a Glamlight affiliate, I did purchase this collection myself. Everything was $75 and then when I used a discount code, it brought it down to less than 64, which I think is really good. So let's kind of talk about this piece by piece. I'll kind of show you close-ups of the products and then I'll show you swatches and then we'll kind of apply everything. I'm excited about it. The first thing that I think is kind of like the big item, right? Something that's like the most exciting is the eyeshadow palette. So it's so cool. It came in this cereal box. You opened it like cereal. There was a plastic bag inside and then the palette was inside. I love that it looks like the cereal box. It's so, so cool. And on the back, it even says, we'll, we're sure you'll look great. <laughs> I think that's adorable. So let me show you a close up of this palette. I want to insert that here and I also want to show swatches for y'all so that you can see what it looks like before I dipped my fingers in. All of that. So, so beautiful. I will say I'm a huge flan, fan, flan, fan, fan of the Glam Light eyeshadow formula. I think this is so beautiful and when you open it up, it's got the nice like tiger on the inside. Just very cute overall the theming the packaging everything i think is adorable on this one now i will link everything down below because i checked the website and it looks like everything is still available but we have two different lip kits i'll show you they also come in a cute cereal box so we have this one that has a lip liner and lipstick inside so this is the tough tiger lip kit and then there's also the frosted lip kit that comes with a lip liner and a lip gloss. Very, very cute, very over the top packaging that I think is just so, so fun. Now I do have some liquid lipsticks and I have some glosses from Glam Light, but I've never tried a bullet lipstick from them and I've never tried a lip liner. So I will show you the swatches of both of the lip kits side by side, the gloss and the lip liner and then the lip liner and the lipstick. They felt really nice, but I'm very excited to try them on the lips, see how they perform. Um, but the gloss, it felt really nice. It felt like the gloss formula that I really like from Glam Light. And then the last part of the collection. Okay, I ripped into this box. Let me show it to you before I ripped into it and this highlighter. Now, I'm not always crazy about odd shapes to makeup packaging. So I like that everything in this collection is very like, you know, we have a normal size palette. We have normal size lipsticks. I like that they had the fun with this loose highlighter. I only have pressed highlighters from Glam Light and I really, really like those. I have the ones that were part of their like um, cocktail collection. I love those. So I'm excited to have this one. Let me show you a swatch of this. It looks very pretty. It looks a bit icy, so I want to see how it looks on the face, but I think this is just, I mean, it feels like cereal up top. It is so, so cool. 
I'm excited to play with this all. I will link it all down below for you. I'll also link the other makeup that I'm wearing, but I want to zoom y'all in. And before we do highlight, before we do lips, I really want to create an eye look. So I'm going to prime my eyes with my Sigma eye base. I'm going to zoom y'all in and we are going to create a look. Okay, my eyes are primed and I really want to do a blue orange look. I think that will be super fun. I really, really like this color story. I was super excited when I saw this because I think there's a good variety in here to where you could do all orange, you could do all blue, you could do a neutral look because this is a neutral, this is a neutral, we have a white, we have a black, like you could do something really pretty with maybe like a gold, but I really like these tones. As I was looking at this and swatching it, these blue tones, especially these three down here, and some of these shimmers are pretty unique blues in my Glam Light collection. I do have the Icy palette, and I asked some, I had some people in my comments asking me when we talked about this in a Judging New Makeup, if the blues were similar to those in the Icy palette. And while that is a monochromatic blue palette, I think we have some different tones in here. Now that I've kind of swatched them and seen this in person, I definitely feel like we have some variety. So I'm very, very excited about that. I really want to do a blue and orange look. Now blue and orange don't mix super well together. So I'm going to kind of do like a two toned crease with maybe orange here going out to blue. That's kind of what I have in, in mind. So I want to first go in with this matte shade right here called Tony the Tiger. Okay, so I'm picking this orange shade up on my brush that came in the MAC Stranger Things collection. Y'all, I love this brush. I use it so much. And I'm just going to put this right in here. You can see I'm blending it above my crease. With my deep set eyes, I, I don't just stay in the crease. I like to blend up so that when my eyes are open, you can still really see that shade. So I'm just buffing this in right here. Very pigmented, which is good. I mean, I am very familiar with the Glam Light formula. I really like their eyeshadows. I have a bunch of their palettes. And so far, this matte shade is performing exactly how I expect it to. Okay, now I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics brush and I want to go into Go Getter, this deep dark blue down here in the corner. It looks so beautiful. And I'm going to focus this right out here in the outer part of my eye even taking it out a bit just like this isn't that so pretty so I'm kind of packing it to keep it really deep right here and then I'll slowly kind of blend out like this up and around just little circular blending motions okay now I'm gonna grab this unearthly brush and I want to go into I'm trying to decide do I want to go into classic or this shade right here called teamwork but I think we're just going to dip right into classic and this is going to go right here it's going to kind of bridge the gap between that deeper blue and the orange but I'm going to be very very careful when I'm blending not to muddy up right in here where the blue and the orange meet I want those to stay distinctive I want it to be orange and blue. I don't want it to be like this muddy mess, you know? Okay, I'm loving the way this is looking, but I wanna go ahead and add something to the lower lash line. So I'm gonna go into Teamwork, this really pretty blue right here. I'm gonna pick that up on another unearthly brush. I'm gonna get this really close to this lower lash line. I want to use kind of as many shades as possible because I want to make sure this is that Glam Light formula that I love. And so far with these mattes, it seems so nice. Okay, This is really, really cool. I like this. I want to do orange and blue on the lid as well. 
So let's think. Okay, I'm gonna go in first with Tiger Paw right here, this orange. I'm gonna put it under the orange here. And then out here, I think I'll go into Sweet Spark. This one looks really, really beautiful. So Tiger Paw first and then Sweet Spark. Now I am gonna spray my brush. I just like to wet my shimmers. I think it just helps them perform really well. So first I'm going to pick this shade Tiger Paw up on my Unearthly brush and I'm going to spray it with a little makeup mist. Whatever makeup mist you want to use is fine. Alright, I'm going to kind of look down into my mirror and we're going to put this shade on right under the matte orange shade. Just pressing it just like this. Okay, this shade is looking so beautiful, so sparkly. I'm so excited. And I think Sweet Spark next to it is going to be just as pretty. All right, so I'm going to press this on, and that looks so pretty. Oh, I love that. Oh, I really love that blue next to the orange. That is really sparkly, really, really metallic. Okay, now for the inner corner, I want to go for it. I really want to go in with this beautiful shade called Milk. I want to put this icy white right here on the inner. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh. I love it. That is so intense. So beautiful. Okay. I am going to put on some eyeliner. I'm going to put on some mascara, some lashes. I might do a little more blending and then I will be back and we'll finish up the look together. All right, y'all, this is the finished eye look. I just put on a little bit of black eyeliner and my Lily Lashes in the style Miami Flare. That's what I used to complete the eye look, but I'm ready for highlight. I'm ready to put on my little bowl of cereal highlight. This is just so cute. It has like a little sifter in here. I already pulled the sticker off. I'm gonna go in with my unearthly brush. This is a A4. I'm just gonna swirl my brush in the cap and let's let's see what we are. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, it is very, very light. Very light and very sparkly. But that's cute. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like it. Okay. I like it. It's very cute. Now, I will be 100% honest. I reach for pressed highlights way more than I do any of my loose highlighters. I just feel like it's a little more convenient, <laughs> a little less messy. But mm, look at that glow. That's beautiful. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay, I'm going to put some on my Cupid's bow every single time without fail that I highlight my Cupid's bow. I get people telling me, why do you do that? I don't like that. It looks like snot. It looks like you have runny nose. It looks like a mustache. I hear you and I don't care. <laughs> I love it. I want to wear the makeup. I want to love my makeup. I want you to wear the makeup how you love the makeup. But I love a highlight mustache just mm, everywhere, down the nose, everywhere. I'm loving this. I feel like I'm glowing. Ooh, I'm telling you, I'm feeling myself right now. I can't wait for Dusty to get home because this is, this is making me feel amazing. But we have to do lips, right? We have to do lips. Okay, so let's do, okay, what do we have? What do we have? Lipstick, two lip liners, and a lip gloss. Now, this is the darker of the lip liners, right? This one, the, the orangey one. So, I'm going to line my lips. This. Okay, let me see. Oh, okay. It's reminding me of a MAC lip pencil. If, if you're curious and you're like, what's it like? If you've ever used a MAC lip pencil, that's kind of what I would compare the formula to with my first impression. Okay, there we go. Pretty. Let's go in with the lipstick. 
Okay, there's no name. It's just Glam Light Frosted Flakes Lipstick. Beautiful color. A matte formula. Okay. Really pretty. Really pretty. Really nude on my skin tone. I'm here for it. I think this is cute. Ooh, I just keep looking at myself. Like I'm looking off and then looking down to see that highlight. Let's put on the gloss. This is like a milky shimmery gloss. I like the Glam Light lip glosses. I really like the ones they launched in the Icy collection. Oh, I do have a whole Glam Light playlist, so y'all can check that out. If you want to see my thoughts on other Glam Light products. Oh, you know what? I almost put this back in. I almost put this back in, but I'm going to clean off the wand first. All right, y'all, here is the finished look with the Glam Light Frosted Flakes collection. I think the packaging on everything was so cute. The performance of every product performed just like I expect Glam Light products to perform. Really, really nice. The shadows feel really quality, really, really nice. Of course, I will use these products some more. I will follow up with a review later on. I'll include this palette in a palette ranking, but I'm feeling myself. <laughs> I love the orange and blue. I think this look is so fun. I think the highlight is so beautiful. The lip products feel nice. I would love to know what you think of this collection. Did you pick up anything? If not, maybe you can shop your stash, recreate this look if you want to. Definitely, definitely could recreate this with something you have. Or if you bought this collection, maybe I gave you some inspiration. I just really, ah, <laughs> like I see my my cheek, my glow in the mirror over here. And I'm like, bam, like I'm just feeling myself. And with that, I'm going to leave y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a super awesome, amazing day. And I'll see you very soon in another video. So make sure you subscribe. Bye.